Hi everyone, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we help entrepreneurs and small business owners to get more clients, gain brand visibility, and grow revenue in less time. Well, today's topic is social media. I want to talk to you about how you use social media to grow your business. And if you are like me, you're already using social media and it's already working to help you get your brand out there, get clients, and make more money. But if you're like some entrepreneurs, you're still kind of lost when it comes to social media. And, you know, you don't like technology. You know, you don't like being on a smartphone, a tablet, desktop, laptop to connect with people. And you're like, ah, oh, I wish social media would go away. Well, I've got news for you. Social media is not going anywhere. So if you want to use it to grow your business, you're going to have to embrace it and really learn the, the tips and tools to make it work for you. So I came up with this really quick diagram. I just wrote it out really quickly, guys, because you can see a better version of this on my website at qualitymediaconsultants.com. But here it is. I just wrote it out really quick for you. And step number one is you have to have a goal in mind. You have to have goals about your social media. Step number two is brand clarity. Step number three is pull marketing campaigns. Step number four is connect and build relationships. And step number five is create a plan and calendar. There you have it, you guys. That's your social media marketing plan by yours truly, Lori A. Mans, Miss Quality Media. And I'm going to go over these steps really quickly for you right now. So step number one, your goals are your end outcome. What is your most desired outcome that you want to achieve from social media? What are your objectives? What's the end game? Like if you're a sports person, what do you want to achieve, guys? What are you doing social media for in the first place? Are you trying to get famous? Are you trying to get more customers? Are you trying to sell a particular product or service? Are you trying to have people opt in to some uh, contest or program or whatever? What are you doing and why are you doing it, right? So when you think about what your desired outcome is, what are your goals and what do you want to achieve, then you can formulate a plan to help you get there, right? It's like if you've not been to a certain location before and you don't know how to get there and you don't have a map. Well, you need a map, guys. You, you need a GPS. You need something to help you get there. Or it's like, you know, trying to make an entree or a dish that you've never cooked before and you don't have a recipe. You got to know what's in it, right? So what are your goals? What are your outcomes? And what do you really want to achieve and why? You've got to know that. That's step one. Now, step two is all about your brand. you got to get clear on what your brand is. So many entrepreneurs and really the solo entrepreneurs that I run into are really struggling with this sometimes is they don't know what their brand is. They don't know what they're all about and they don't have a profitable business model and they haven't figured out what it is that they do, how they do it and how they help people. And they are not clear on their target market and their niche. So when you get clear on your brand, who your brand helps and how you help those people, then you are able to clearly articulate that online, in person, and any place else. You've got to consistently and, con and concisely say what your brand is all about, who you help, and how you help them, right? And you've got to be able to do that quickly, okay? And then step number three, that's your pull marketing. Pull marketing is all about client attraction. It's putting messages out there that people can respond to that pull them closer to you, right? Because it, it's pulling them because it does three things. It educates them, it empowers them, and it entices them, right? So with your pull marketing, you've got to have a call to action that's so strong that people basically go, that's me. I want to learn more. How do I get in? Engage with you? How do I talk to you? How do I speak to you? What are the next steps? Because I really need to talk to you because what you just put out is something that I definitely need. So it's pulling them closer to you. And that is client attraction. That's magnetic marketing because it works and it does the heavy lifting for you. Okay? So with the pull marketing, you're going to need to tap into some resources, things like Google AdWords. It's free, guys. Use it. You're going to need to be able to understand what are people online searching for, right? What are they looking for? Are they looking for what I have to offer? And if they are, what words are they using? You've got to understand what are they searching for and what do they need from you, 
okay? That's number three. Number four is all about connecting, right? Have online conversations with people. Don't be a social media stalker. Put out messages and engage with people. Converse with people. Talk to them. Figure out what they need, what they want, what they're looking for. And if you're the answer, you've got to be able to deliver your unique sales proposition to them in a way that shows them what's different about you. Right. So when I used to be in corporate America, we used to always have to figure out how are we going to position our radio station differently from all the other radio stations out there. And so it's the same with you and your business. You have to figure out how are you going to position yourself differently than anybody else in the marketplace. And you've got to do that by connecting with people and telling them what's different and unique about you. OK, and that's number four. So number five, as I wrap this up, it's all about creating a plan, a master plan for how you're going to use social media you got to create a content calendar for how you're going to disseminate messages out there to your target market how are you going to act on everything what steps are you going to take to bring it all together and make it cohesive and be a part of your overall marketing strategy because social media should not be your entire marketing strategy folks social media should be a component of your marketing strategy. It cannot be all of it, okay? You need a marketing mix. You need to get some other things combined with your social media to make it work for your business, okay? If you wanna to talk to me more about this, then please follow me online. I'm at Miss Quality Media. You can also email me. Go to my website, qualitymediaconsultants.com. Go to the Contact Us page. Send me a message. I'd love to have a discovery call with you and talk to you about how I help people like you use marketing to grow their business and make more money. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Connect with me, qualitymediaconsultants.com or Miss Quality Media. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.